there's a million people in the slum and we've just been in one little area and to reach those people and love on them is going to take a whole lot more. You have a freedom to talk about your faith openly. We're at home a lot. Everyone has a notion that you have to act a certain way. We have everything. We have everything and we're unhappy. And these people have nothing and they're so happy. Pastor Mock talked this morning and preached on God's love for us. And then we get to go and carry that out into the slums of Africa and, you know, and just love on the kids. And I think what stood out the most to me about that was just how much the kids just wanted to love. We wanted to come and love on them and show them God's love, but they just were willing to receive it and hungry for it. I did enjoy feet washing um, because it was humbling because you think like I chose shoes that I didn't mind getting dirty to wear here and they're just so excited to just get shoes that tie and that fit their feet. I'm able to open up more and, and uh, hopefully <laughs> encourage them and comfort them because that's always been hard for me to talk to others. Um, to witness to him. But today I was I was just asking for God's help and he gave me the words, helping those girls and the kids. They have desires, they have hopes, they have dreams. These are people that have a purpose too. They're, they were here for a reason. And then the circumstances are so different. Their, their need for unconditional love uh, is, is the same. And I think that's, that's the one thing that we all have in common, is that, that need for love, acceptance. It's the, the one thing that ties us together no matter our race and our color, our experiences, uh, is that, that we need a loving God.